So I finished cutting the rafter material and the pile is straight ahead of you. It's seven feet wide, seven feet tall, and 12 feet long. And then I got my oak just starting from my beams and those were coming off at 45% moisture. And I went in and I thought, man, this humidity in here seems kind of high, even with all the venting I got going, and we're at 70%. So I went and got two dehumidifiers in here and those are running full blast. We're pulling out eight gallons of water a day. I apologize for the noise on the fans, but this is how real life is, and I'm not gonna alter it. So as you can see how I'm doing this, and yeah, it is loud and we're using a lot of electricity. But we gotta do this so we can dry this prop pile down properly. And so I got this fan pushing in at this angle, and I got a small green bin fan, which is moving more air than the big fan in front of me at this angle and it's pushing the air flow through, pressurizing this lumber cavity, and you can feel the air coming out the other side quite nicely. We need a good air flow coming through the pile so that we're not creating stagnant air, and then we have mold. The last thing that you wanna do is we got our stickers here, and you can see how nice we got them piled. They're very straight, and that's what you want. You don't want them crooked. If you have them crooked, you're gonna have warped boards because the pressure is off, and that is extremely important. The last thing we did is we end green sealed all these wood to make sure that they don't dry out too fast from the end. And that is how to properly dry wood in northern Minnesota in the winter in a building.